Hi, my name is Monica Rey and I'm a senior associate at TPS. In this video, I'd like to talk about the application of the internal cost plus method and the external cost plus method. Regarding the application of internal cost plus method, we could be likely using this method if the company carries out a transaction with a third party under the same terms and conditions applied in a transaction of the same kind concluded with a related party, sufficiently comparable and controlled transaction. Regarding the application of the external cost plus method, this could be selected if the company does not carry out a transaction with a third party under the same terms and conditions applied in a transaction of the same kind concluded with a related party, but potentially comparable transactions carried out between third parties can be identified. This method probably is the most useful where semi-finished codes are sold between associated parties, manufacturing entities for example, where the control transaction is the provision of services or the reinvoicing of certain costs. When applying the cost plus method, we should pay attention to apply comparable markup to a comparable cost basis and how to determine the cost. While in many cases companies are driven by competition to scale down prices by reference to the costs of creating the relevant codes or providing the relevant services, there are other circumstances where there is no clear relationship between the level of costs incurred and a market price. Additionally, if a supplier is carrying out its activities employing these business assets, the cost basis might not be comparable without adjustment if the supplier in the control transaction owns own its business assets. Therefore, it's particularly important to consider differences in the level of, um, and types of pain expenses associated with functions performed and risk assumed by the parties or transactions being compared. Consideration of this difference may indicate if expenses reflect a functional difference which has not been taken into account in applying the method, an adjustment to the cost plus marker may be required. If the expenses reflect additional functions that are different from the activities tested by the method, separate compensation for those functions may be need to be determined. If differences in the expenses of parties being compared merely reflect efficiencies or inefficiencies of the companies, as would normally be the case for supervisory, general and administrative expenses, then no adjustments to the gross margin may be appropriate. In any of the above three circumstances, it may be appropriate to supplement the cost plus method by considering the results obtained from applying other methods. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more videos like this one, click to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.